Hedge fund manager, short seller Jim Janos, he's been here talking with us throughout. He is the president and founder of Kinecos Associates. And uh, the conversation we've been having behind the scenes, Joe, you wanted to bring something up. I, right I want to bring up the, the financials again because you were out a while ago because you thought most of it was, uh, you didn't see as much profit potential left there. Right. Which we took, I took that as a, as a positive sign that if you're, uh, if you're not there at, at nine on Citigroup, I mean, nine to zero would still be a hundred percent return, Jim. Yes, it I, would. I mean, I'm looking at it as a positive that you don't you, you think we're close to a bottom with with the financial. <laughs> I certainly did not say that, Joe. Well, you say it now. I, I, no, I just say that there were better opportunities for my clients' capital when we were covering the financials in other areas. That How I thought, long ago did you cover? So you did cover all of them. We covered. We started covering the financials in the spring. In and, the spring, and, and accelerated into the uh, into the uh, middle of the year in June, July. And by June, July, we had the smallest amount of financials we've had in three, four years, and that's remained right into November. Is there a financial that could do a, a, an offering at this point, a capital raising offering of any kind? Well, sure. We saw Wells Fargo do a big one. Right, and it's almost below water now, yeah, isn't well, it? I mean, I, I, you, you said offering. I, I, how you many say successful uh, offering. How many times can they do that and keep well, I mean, having people come that's, back? That's and, the problem. And, and you know, the other problem was, as one of your earlier guests said, was that the government did not get all that it should have gotten on its, on its preferreds. They could have struck a far, far harder bargain than they did. But I'm not sh the the British um, government got a lot more for for their investment. That we looked at that. So uh, in a, yeah, but we looked at that in a bad way because it, then it crowds out. Then you won't get any private investment if, the, if everything is being eaten up by the government. Well, I don't know if it's eaten up. I mean, we still have these companies paying dividends and huge yeah. bonuses. And by the way, every dollar of bonus after tax and every dividend takes away a dollar of capital that. As Larry uh, said before, it could be leveraged eight to one. Mm -hmm. Why are we letting these companies pay dividends? Then, Common yeah. dividends. Well, I just want to go into you, you. You talked an awful lot. It seems like every other day we're blaming hedge funds for <laughs> for the drops in the yeah, market, yeah. whether it's unwinding of hedge funds yeah. or whether it's redemptions of hedge yep. funds. Uh, what do you think about that? Is well, that fair? Because we're it, looking for reasons. Yes, everyone's looking for reasons. And I remember it was short sellers in the banks in, in the in the summer and fall. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and now it's hedge funds in the great unwind, uh, right. causing problems for everyone. But what everyone forgets, of course, is they always look at one side of the balance sheet. And, and there are two sides. And there's, that's why it's a balance sheet. For a hedge sheet. fund. You mean. For a hedge fund. And if a hedge fund is leveraged dramatically, 8 to 1, 9 to 1, 10 to 1, they're not running it 8 to 1 long only or 8 to 1 short only. They're running it $8 long, $8 short on a dollar of equity. So for every dollar being unwound and liquidated, being sold, there's also something being covered on the short side and being bought. So the net effect to the markets is not as and, great yeah. as people think. Yep. And, and that, so I think we have to keep that in mind. Are you covering your China, Chindia infrastructure yeah. shorts yet? Um, I think that uh, we recently added to some of them. Um, I still think that uh, the whole infrastructure story is, is uh, construction and so on and so forth is still an 09 story. Well, you mean that it's, it's where, okay, so 8%. Well, a lot of the stocks are down quite a bit. Yeah, they are. Yeah. And we think 8% is the low on Chinese GDP. Are you a person that thinks it could go to 3%? I think that Chinese GDP isn't even 8% or 9%. I, I think that the... Oh, is know, it 20 or is it the, 2? Er, the GDP that was, was pr reported precisely by China every quarter at 9.0, 9.0, 9.1, yeah. smacked the earnings management in the late 90s. Uh, I don't think things are that stable. So is it better or worse than what we're I hearing? think it's worse, and I think it's going to get worse. How, uh, how bad? Now remember, first of all, uh, China's, depending on your estimate, 35 to 50% of China's GDP is construction. And, and that's a very important thing to remember. And if we are still building things that we don't need in China, like factories, yeah. are you really about, adding wealth to the country? But what about roads? And um, you know, no, I saw no, no, a, 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 an, an article earlier that they used to carry you know peppers on yeah, their back. Yeah. To sell, now they put it on trucks, but they need the highways course, and the bridges. And, and, the, and, and they don't have an infrastructure. We need to repair our infrastructure. They don't have an infrastructure. It, Why can't that last for years? Well, it can. And, but, but a lot of what they're talking about is, is in rural areas that's not connected yet to the industrial. They don't need it yet. And they don't need it yet. And, and so. Like anything, any capital project has, has a rate of return associated with it. And in China, I'm afraid that a lot of projects, as well as in South Asia and the Middle East, do not have economic returns associated with them. Yet, during their construction, they contribute to growth. Yes. Hey, remember our telecom boom? Yeah. When people were building out things left, right, and center, and then yeah. the, then the building stopped. Optics, yeah. It was the wild E. Coyote moment, where all of a sudden we looked down and there was no there there. <laughs> And I think that the, the, the third world, or what we brick, or whatever you want to call it, is facing that moment.